Come here, tank. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to Battlefield. 2042. Now today we'll be checking out the Apache. Now this thing is best flown with a buddy. I am flying with Rice Cooker. He is my gunner. Absolutely amazing. It is so much better to have a gunner in this thing. It comes with a 30 millimeter chain gun, uh, dumb fire rockets, and it also has flares. Also, AIM-9X. So, you know, you can uh, do a lot of air-to-air -air with this thing surprisingly well. Um, but you can see right here we're trying to kill this COP-52, and uh, we reach the height limit, and then I would just lob off one, kills him. And uh, coupled with the uh, rice cooker's damage from the chain gun and the rockets, it just obliterated him. Now, these also have a very similar camera to Ace Combat Assault Horizon. It'll zoom in, and you could, like, you know, see your enemies a little better. It also looks very cinematic. That's one thing I do like about this game. A lot of the shots in it, or a lot of the gameplay, looks very cinematic like. Um, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, typically, I'm used to playing milsims, so they typically look realistic and things are far off. But this looks very close, sort of like a movie um, almost half the time you're playing, which is actually pretty cool. But uh, you can see that the Apache is extremely deadly to infantry and air targets. You can see this buzzard helicopter, which is way more maneuverable than us. Um, we were able to kill with maneuvering and the chain gun, which helps so much. Because without the gun on the bottom, aiming and damaging him a little, uh, I would definitely have to hit him a little more with the rockets. But uh, it's it's pretty neat. The Apache is not bad. And the COP-52 actually has a very similar model to this. It is slightly smaller, so you are a little bit more nimble in that. But the Apache just feels nice to fly. You can just hover right over tanks and give them a real hard time just launching missiles at them one by one by one, coupled with the chain gun. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I do think that this thing is killable obviously um but if you're flying very evasive with it close to the ground and you know m moving a lot because if you stay in one spot close to the ground they'll just shoot you down but if you're moving a lot and you know getting very close to the ground chances are you won't die for a while and oddly enough it is really good at air to air like i'm still surprised about that you could see this discount hind here there's really not much he could do i think all he gets is like two mini guns and a grenade launcher so you can see he's just on fire after we hit him a couple times it could take a lot of hits it's just it doesn't have anything to defend itself from the patchy <laughs> but yes this thing is absolutely amazing if you're on the if, if you have two people who are very well versed in I guess flying games or I mean even this it's, it's really odd the controls for this are a little off but once you get the hang of it you could just hover around the map and wreak havoc it's absolutely insane you could just stay hovering over one area and have the chain gun whoever's your gunner just light up everyone down there and uh, if you look to the left, you'll see that rice cooker is racking up kills here. So he's the gunner uh, using the 30 millimeter chain gun. So if you look at throughout the video, you'll just see his kills popping up and up and up. And that does actually give us XP, which is nice. So this thing, helicopters, if you have two people, you could grind a lot of XP with them, especially if you know what you're doing. Um, you could see here, we're just destroying the entire point. Like there's literally i think one guy or two guys down there that are ours and the rest are enemies and there's literally nothing they could do and even people hiding on the mountains you can see them fairly well uh it does take a little bit of training of the eye but it's really really fun once you get the hang of it you could just see how many people you could kill with this thing it's absolutely insane i mean this is this is, this is the easiest um cast i've ever flown um and that's an EMP right there, which I don't know where that came from, but it just screws up your avionics. You can still fly just fine and go back in and get kills, so it doesn't hinder your performance too much. You can see we're still racking up kills on this one point without dying because we're just moving around low to the ground. It's kind of hard to get a shot on us, even if you have like a dumb fire rocket. But um, once those do hit, you do get damaged a bit, but it's nothing too insane. You can always leave the situation. So my, my best advice with this thing is to hop in, get a buddy, and play passive. You know, 
rocket the hell out of an area when you get damaged get as far as possible make sure to use your flares at the right time because they do run out sometime well they run out after you use them and there's a little cooldown so my best advice is to you know go in get some kills and hide after you get hit pretty badly because the damage in this thing does regenerate um because you know it's battlefield this is not a mill sim <laughs> so damage does regenerate on vehicles when you uh go far out and wait a little bit also i do suggest bringing an engineer kit so you do not um you know so you could land and just repair the thing if you want to speed it up but this thing is it's just a menace in the sky you can see it's kills kills robot dogs kills infantry kills tanks um later down the line though i think they're going to add different um armaments like in battlefield 4 how you can change your weapons and such but uh, right here I just hit a pole and I'm like, what the hell happened? Because I'm not used to planes being on fire and still being able to fire. But you can look how cinematic that looks. Just, woo, perfect. Back on the topic of the missiles in this game. I'm almost certain they will buff the damage a little bit more down the line. Because it almost takes all your missiles to kill one person. Or they'll just add different variants of missiles that do more damage, which personally I would prefer that because giving base missiles that nuke everyone in seconds wouldn't be really the best. I think you should be able to grind for them like in Battlefield 4 and other battlefields that allow that. But currently it's actually it's pretty fun yeah i could do this for hours if you, you got a buddy just hop in the apache you could do this for hours it's so much fun but yes overall the helicopters in this game are pretty neat if you have two people go in one of these bad boys caught 52 of the apache and wreak havoc i mean the basic tactic is to get in you get damaged run as far as possible make sure you have an engineer kit so you can repair yourself or just wait till the helicopter repairs itself and make sure you use your flares sparingly and play passive you should have a good time um but yes that is the guide on how to use the apache efficiently i hope you guys enjoyed this video like share and subscribe because i really do appreciate it and take care guys